Good afternoon. It's our first day of trading for the month of December, headed into the holiday seasons. That it's coming. It's not here right now, but uh, um, really, a, usually a wonderful time of the year for most of us. Okay, we came in this morning wanting to sell failure to take out 6062. That was our sell one, and we do trade before the opening hour. But beautiful setup right here. The letter S. A square meaning we've got deceleration. Uh, so you could have been short in a 5750 area. And the first stop was uh, 49 and a quarter. That's a big, big, big trade. Uh, we had started out wanting to buy the, uh, we thought there was support in the 48 to 50 area and at 53.55, but there were just, there was not a chance to buy. 53.55, we blew right through it. Market trades back up, uh, and uh, we get to the value area high. And again, we have deceleration right here in the form of a square. When you get deceleration in the form of a diamond, that means 10 contracts or less have traded. So we've got deceleration when, uh, structurally at a point where we need to think about being a seller. The yellow to orange line, this time you're short in the 57 area, and the market makes a low uh, down to 48. Another nice setup right here, the market rallies. Got a B, got a mean green trade, you reverse, or get short if you didn't like that. You have a limit sell, a tick inside of that, and it produces another small winner. So you have three real really great trades from the short side and this is a this is a legitimate long right here where you could have had a small winner to the upside too um, that point comes back up we talked about this trade right here four five six opportunities to get short you were short in the f57 area once again and the market traded down to just below 51 for another nice winner so we we've, we've had a really really big day in the e-mini and the idea this morning was to be a seller the level was at 60 to 62. Check, check. Deceleration had it all. 50 lot trader was a seller. 20 lot trader was a seller before the day session opened. No reason not to get short. Big trade. And you could have made your business plan by aiming for our number two target. Here's the high volume area down here in the 50 area, taking yourself out against this high volume number, which would have been at 50 50. So you're out at 50 75. Uh, there's uh, almost seven points from there to there. So really, really a good trading in the E-mini today. Uh, this morning we had one piece of supportive news for the E-mini. The ISM index came in higher than forecast by quite a bit. Markets PMI number came in lower than forecast. Uh, if you read the news from the world, uh, the economic news, generally speaking, is worse than forecast. Not all times. Uh, it's not all perfect. But if there are two reporting agencies besides the Bureau of Labor Statistics whose, uh, stati whose numbers are always suspect, it's ISM and it's ADPs. Pretty clean break in the market here in this 55 area. You can see it right there. Lower high, lower low. Everything points on this screen to be a seller. And if we close it below 60, I think um, the market's telling us to get short to retest today's lows. I think we're headed for the uh, 37 area because that's where the high volume number is. That's where the attractor without a change in the news. Okay, looking at the F2 screen, you can see we've got a B. Possible move here out of the middle, out of the 53 area. But we also have a pretty strong B behind us. So getting short to retest support and or take it out. Everybody thinks a B means sell, a P means buy. It's true in the general sense, but what it really means is you have a B, retest support and or take it out, a P, retest resistance and or take it out. And that's a, it's a fine distinction, but it's an important one. Uh, so here we are at 57, and we've got a low right here. Uh, we've got this spill from Friday. We've got this two-letter ledge. We've got our high. So the 60 to 65 area right here is pretty good resistance. And if we can stay below that, uh, the market can sell. So 59, 61 is sell one. 64, 66 is sell two. 
I, I do want to get short to see if we can bust the low. So we'll keep 48.50 as buy one. And then our uh, 45 area plus or minus is buy two. I think the market is going to try to trade lower at least one more time. Okay, the note really surprised me today, and the bond with a weakness in the many. Why are they both selling? Gold came back, uh, I think seventy points, seventy dollars. Um, have to look at it, maybe eighty. Um, crude came back six bucks, six one bucks. Big rallies. Um, the um, so it could be just what's going on in crude and gold. Also, this is the week that we set up next week's auctions and uh, so usually the market after an auction sells in the following week so it just could be auction dynamics uh, the market is pointed lower we've got the attractor in the uh, thir in the uh, 30 year down here at 4120 I think we're headed that way we've got resistance at eight then at six we're currently at 01. Uh, so selling failure to get through the six to ten area. Be sell one, and then the last rotate up stopped at sixteen, fifteen to nineteen. Will be sell two. Uh, on the buy side, I'm going to open it up. We're going to say seventeen to twenty-one. Obviously, we've got some territory to cover. Uh, between that, uh, the buy could come at twenty-nine. So we'll put a question mark at twenty-nine. I'm going to try to buy the 17 to 21 area because that's where the high volume number is. Now to the note. Okay, looking at the note, uh, we do have a higher low and a higher high. Like I said, the selling surprised me today based on what was going on. Uh, I have to keep an eye on the E-mini. Uh, if the E-mini rallies, it's going to make for a pretty easy short in the note. If the E-mini is selling with some momentum, um, makes the short questionable. It's, uh, it, it's a different deal. But F1 says buy. F2 says sell. So we've got a split. The two time frames are not congruent. And that usually yields a trading range market. Okay, we do a C split here, and the reason it's a C split is that it took out support at A or B. Normally we split right out of the middle, like here, or like here. Uh, so 28 is uh, the uh, first little low. We've got some support here at 26 to 28. Um, Next spot down there is uh, 2021. Uh, so in this situation, because of knob spread spell selling, I'd like to get it done close to 21, but we'll make buy one 21 to 25, and then 13 to 17 for buy two. On the uh, sell side, we're going to sell failure to take out two to six. And then uh, the last rotate stopped at 8, selling 8 to 12. Okay, gold, uh, after we... Uh, and uh, really, this is one of the uh, very, very biggest reversal days I've ever seen. And again, a lot of this reflects the illiquidity and the the schizophrenic nature of markets the way they are. I mean, everybody sits back, then they pile on. And it doesn't make for comfortable trading. Uh, but um, that's what we have to live with today. So. Uh, way down below, we've got 1,100 as potential support. 
Uh, we're at 12.11 right now. The start of the selling started at uh, 12.25, 12.30, kind of where we are right now. Uh, 100 points off the low takes us to that 12.30 area, so that might be a good place to think about getting short. But we've got an outside day, and that usually yields a trading range the next day. Looking at the F2 screen, it's, gonna, it's a very, very strong P. Uh, so you are looking for places to buy it off of this one. And again, put those two together, and it tends to yield a trading range day. So we're right back in this high volume area that we spent some time in before. So 15 to 18, sell one, uh, 23, 25, sell two. Wrong if we go through 1230. On the I side, we had a breakout. Uh, we're at 11. We had a breakout at 5. So 5 to 7, very, very aggressive. Buy 1. And then 1,200 plus or minus buy 2. I think the best short is uh, wake up, see them going short in London, and uh, join them, get short. Uh, we've had a very, very uh, strong rally. We've covered a lot of distance, almost 100 points. 100 points off the low would have a short at 29. That's a pretty good trade. The 5 to 7 is a very aggressive buy. Uh, again, I'd like some help from London on that. But the real, real big market, I'm, I mean, how could you forecast a move like we had today? Uh, $80. $80. Uh, so you just have to open it up quite a bit. And um, don't worry about getting knocked out. The, uh, the goal is to preserve capital, um, not get your head handed to you. Okay, crude, um, low in the 64 area, high in 69. That's $5. That's a pretty big range. Uh, we, obviously, we have the spill from 75, which is a big number, and 70. So, again, I think the... Um, I was leaning against 70, that 69, 75, 70 would be sell one, and then 70, 50, 70, 75 would be sell two. Based on this screen, going to the F2 screen, uh, again, it's just a big market, and these numbers are guidelines, uh, not too difficult to trade higher. But we got this single print here, and we got this rejection from the other day, so 69.50 to 75 on this screen is where the sell is. Got a double print up here at 70.13, and then 70, even 70.25 for sell two. On the buy side, we have a breakout at 68. So 68.50, 75, buy one. Big market. And then um, 68 even, 68 and a quarter by two. I don't think the selling's over in crude, but, I mean, who could have envisioned a $5 rally off the lows today? You just don't get married to your positions. You don't forget about controlling risk. You don't pay a lot of attention to when you're wrong. Um, you just have to understand that these are great big markets, extremely volatile. Decrease your size, you can still make the same amount of money. And last but not least, the euro. Uh, again, I think the trader, the easiest trade to see in the euro would be a sell starting in the overnight session. This 125, again, is pretty good resistance. So uh, last rotate up stopped at 95. Been at 82, so we'll make 85, 95, sell one, 10 to 20, sell two. Don't really like the long side in this contract, although I do think uh, what happened in uh, crude oil is supportive for the euro to a point. Um, we're at 76, so this 50 area plus or minus five. And then our 25 to 35. I'm pretty comfortable with the 25 to 35 for buy two. Okay, we have a, a webinar this afternoon teaching the I, starting to teach the IET methodology. Everybody should have gotten their link by now. 
I'll see uh, the webinar kick off at um, 3.30 Central. I'll see you in the room for that. I'm going to make probably going to try to make a couple of videos for the e-mini and for the note this afternoon. I may or may not get to them before the uh, webinar this afternoon. May not get to them at all. It just depends on how much time I have. So anyway, we had a great day of trading. Looking forward to seeing you all in the room bright and early tomorrow. <laughs>